Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I've been forced into doing certain things that I don't want to do. I'm still learning um, yeah. to, you know, to deal with it, to, deal with it, to mm. speak about it. So, one step at a time. The friendships and relationships you're building with people, would you say that situation impacts it right now or contributes to it? It does. It definitely does. There's certain things that I don't do or I do, and I know it's because of that. Um, I'm, I love, I protect my space. I oh, know you don't have hugs. Yeah, you don't I don't have hugs. Do yeah, you don't so, have hugs. Yeah. Um, it definitely has impacted, you know, how my relationships are today. I've had situations where men have tried to physically impose me, emotionally impose me, or try to force me into things that I am uncomfortable with. definitely is a problem. I can, I know about three people who have been in situations like that. These men are older. These are our uncles, our fathers. These are people that we should be looking up to, who should be teaching us how to, you know, be treated as mm -hmm. a lady. Mm -hmm. That's my take on it. How do you feel about it? It does make sense for a 40-year-old to be looking at an 18-year-old in, in a school uniform, you know. Um, Look, I'm having difficulty with the character of Saul and himself, you know. I just think when you see a girl in school uniform, like you're saying, the first instinct would be you want to have an impact in their life positively. We could make the law stricter, we could create more programs where the younger girls are having platforms to open up more. We could probably be stricter in the, in the, sp in the environment and the spaces that they meet in. Mm -hmm. Clubs, restaurants, malls, whatever it may be. And also calling out those men instead of trashing the girl. Exactly. I as think society. Also, as men, we need to, to be accountable. Mm -hmm.